Yes, um, you know, in the first half, I thought we did some good things against their zone. Uh, so, you know, it was something that we haven't seen in a while, but got to give them credit. They made some shots and uh, we were a little, you know, lethargic there and uh, we had to generate our own energy. I just thought our energy level and uh, we just, it wasn't there. So um, that's something that we would have to definitely correct. Uh, I know we, we have a game on Saturday. We'll get another crack at Central Michigan on Tuesday to where we have a little bit more time to prepare as well. Um, the the difference in, in their shooting was night and day from first half to second half. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, was it just a case of them getting hot, or did they, yeah, they change anything offensively? They made some shots. Until I watched film and figured it out, they they did make some shots. I know Miller. We went under once, and that was on me. Um, where where he's so far out, we go we went under, and he made one. But other than that, they did make some shots. And uh, like I said, you got to give them credit for making those shots. But um, I thought on the offensive end. Um, you know, we had some quality looks ourselves, and the ball didn't go down. So now you guys drop down to eighth in the standing, so th that makes the stretch even more yeah. crucial for you guys. How are you approaching this? Every game. We've, we've taken it a one game at a uh, time, um, our mentality. Every game, we, we're going one game at a time, so we understand what every game means. We, we're going to Toledo as well on Saturday. Uh, um, you know, a chance to, you know, um, to get a win. And that's the way we're looking at it. Precious, obviously a tale of two halves. Uh, I mean, they got smoking hot there in the second half and you guys couldn't buy a bucket. What changed? Did they change their defense? Did they change their offense? Or uh, what was going on there? No, nah, we just, um, you know, they're a pretty good team. You know, they executed on the offensive end and we just couldn't get stops to, on the little stretch that they had. So um, we just got to find a better way to stop their offense and stop them from scoring. They had, you know, 32 points in the paint and um, uh, 22 points of turnover. So, you know, we got to make sure that we try to take care of the ball, you know. So that was pretty much it. Um, what was the mood in the locker room like after the game? You guys had a chance to, you know, Gain a little ground on Ball State in, in the standings and maybe solidify a uh, tournament berth. But now if you've dropped down to eighth, uh, what's the mood like in the locker room? You know, we're still looking for. You know, it's not it's, it's not over yet. Nobody can count us out out yet. So you know, we know we have a chance to get this game back um, next week. So you know, the most important game is the game in front of us. So we're gonna get back to the you know to. Our, practice and prepare for our next game, which is against Toledo on Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, you personally, 14 rebounds a season high. Um, uh, how'd you feel about uh, your effort in your game tonight? Um, I think, you know, I was just, the, the ball found me wherever I was at. I was just, you know, trying to attack the, attack the glass and stay, and stay doing, and stay, you know, within our offensive strategy. So, you know, just kept attacking the glass. I, there's nothing really special about that. 